Please okay. Questions. Now let's talk. Well, first of all, Michael, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's, it's good to be back on, actually. Uh, we so see this, this huge balloon, and Amanda said it went over her house, her backyard. I mean, hello. It was what, the size of two football fields? Okay. Excuse me. Couldn't they have hooked it? You know, you see these movies where they put a hook down and hook it. Couldn't they have done that? And then that way, if there was anything inside of it, it would not have spread. And they would have had it in pieces or in one big piece instead of in pieces. What about the one in Alaska they shot down yesterday? It was the size of a small car. What are these things? Who? We know China. We know they say that the first one was someone, a civilian or something. What? What? <laughs> or a weather balloon? It was their weather balloon. Really? Okay. So let's put two and two together here and see if we have a mystery. We have China, who developed COVID. Pardon me. You don't see that very often. So we have China that developed COVID. And it went around the world, around the world, around the world very quickly. It has mutated very quickly. It has killed. Okay. So now you have these balloons going over. Or they're calling them balloons. I guess they're balloons. They could put anything in those balloons. And we let it go across the nation. As soon as we see these things, we need to hook them and get them into a controlled environment and go through them completely. We need to make it very clear that this is unacceptable. But there's another thing I want you to think about. Putin in China are close. North Korea, you saw their big missiles come through, right? Did you see their parade? Great big missiles. Is there any connection? Could be. If you are not putting away food, if you are not thinking steps ahead of day by day, even with inflation, you should be thinking of ways to save money. I only buy reduced products or sale products or products I have a coupon with that makes it unbelievable. I spent $108 at Kroger the other day, but my cart was heaping and I saved, I think it was like $85 and change. So that would have been almost $200 worth of groceries for a hundred bucks. We can say the $8 was probably tax on something, even though I don't, yeah, I did have a couple things that weren't food, but not, I had dog food. I had paper towels, two packages of paper towels, two packages of toilet paper. We're talking name brand. I had coupons with them. Um, I haven't bought paper items in a while. I bought the L Vive shampoo and conditioner. They were on sale for $2.99 and I had a four off a of two or no, two. They were on sale for $2.49. I had a four off a of two. So I paid what? Like 
98 cents for a set of L Vive shampoo that's normally like almost eight dollars a bottle or maybe not quite that much maybe five six dollars a bottle I don't know I don't look when a thing like that comes I grab it okay I'll put that up. Sorry. If you are not talking to your kids, and I'm not saying scare them, I'm not, I'm not a doomsdayer, but you know, I'm seeing things happen that are strange. Okay. Put away food. Find food that you can put away. Get a dehydrator. Set up an outside dehydrator for summer. Make sure you have a fire pit that you could cook on. Figure out those ways. Do your internet stuff while you can. Um, if the grid goes down, you're not going to be able to use your internet. Get books. Um, do those things. Think about if there was no technology in your home. What are you going to do? Well, first of all, I hope that you would start working towards becoming um, handy as someone who doesn't have electric, you know, um, learn how to do things without modern conveniences. Cook on an outside, outside campfire. You know, show your kids how to make a fire and build a campfire and go find an old cast iron pot or skillet or whatever and show them how to shine it up and and season it because these are things that, you know, our young people are not taught these days. I mean, I was taught how to do it, but I'm not sure that all kids are taught how to do it. I showed my daughter how to do it. I bought her cast iron skillet. I said, this is what you do. I showed her how to make granny gravy in a cast iron skillet. Um, get fire okay cooking instruments. Um, watch some Gordon Ramsay Uncharted. Not only are they just absolutely entertaining, but at the ends of each one of those shows, they're cooking on outside, outside um, vessels. They have stuff set up with fire. Look at that. Look at that setup. This is gourmet cooking outside. Gordon Ramsay Uncharted. Great show. Um, it's not on the travel channel. I think it's on an entertainment channel. It's worth it. I love it. Um, but the way that they cook. And they'll go into the old ways that these countries, these other cultures cook um, beef rangdang. It, it tells you how to do that step by step, and it's it's quite a process. Um, the lady I know uh, from Indonesia, she makes some beef rangdang, and it is absolutely amazing. I almost mastered it, but I would never make it like her. Um, anyway, learn how to cook outside. Take walks with your kids out in the woods and find, you know, trees that are going to be necessary. Maybe fruit trees, plant a few. Um, if you if you live in a place, um, bucket a few. Get some dwarf trees and bucket them. You can do that. I mean, you got to really be on top of it. You can't let them just go. Um, you have to really be on top of that stuff. So, I'm just saying, stock up. Um, the weekly digital that I did this week and I did it for JC and I did it for Kroger was Campbell's Chunky Soup for a dollar twenty nine a can. Um, so I could get five in each one. So I bought my 10 cans of Chunky Cam Chunky Campbell's Chunky Soup this past week. Um, I stocked up on that chicken. I stocked up on cheese. There was a good deal with a coupon I had. Um, I'm hoping to stock up on milk again. I gave my neighbor some milk, and I've been giving it to the girls. I have about a half of a half gallon left. I don't know. Is it <laughs> a pint? No. That'd be two pints.
<laughs> oh, it's just one of those days, and I can't keep my mind straight. And I'm worried about my roosters outside, and I'm worried about all these eggs and chickens. I'm worried about my husband. I'm worried about everything. But I have to move forward. I need to go do some laundry, get the garbage out, and go feed. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Just prepare. We never know what's going to happen. Make sure you have food. Make sure you have ways to cook or heat. Um, some, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this. This is something I wanted to tell you. I had made, I had little wire fruit baskets or whatever that you hang in your house to put fruit in. Um, I had two of those. And I took solar um, steak lights and I put them in there. And I always have them hanging on my back porch. Well, when the electric went out, I brought them in. I hung one in the kitchen and I hung one in the bathroom. And it let off just the most amazing lights. Um, always stock up on those solar lights. It would not be good now to buy them. But at the end of summer, right before fall, you'll get them half off, 75% off. Um, that's when you want to stock up on them. Just saying. Bye, y'all.